So what would you say, Jürgen, is so special about this club and this city? And why does it hold a special attraction? It's, it's, so for me, it's not so easy to, to, to probably to, to know about, really, because um, I don't live a normal life in the city. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't. And um, so from all the people I know, everybody loves the vibe in the city. So um, all the friends coming over, visiting us, going in the city, having a night out. Um, they really love it. It's a really friendly, open city with, I think, two main subjects, two main things. It's music and football, or football and music, however you want. And I love that. I'm not that much in music, maybe because I was very early already focused on football. Um, but anyway, I, 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 I love um, yeah, all the... The, the emotions around it, and that makes the city really special right? because um, it's how the people live in the city. This the Liverpool Football Club is just incredible. I love it. I know there are rumors that the, the Liverpool supporters are from all over the world, and only the supporters of the other club are local. But I know it's not like this. It's not like this. We are uh, the city is big enough, obviously, for two clubs, for a real one and the other one, and um, so that. And I really love it. Um, the emotions we can create in a stadium is based on the emotions which are only possible in the city. Yeah, and you're breaking all sorts of club records and making your own history. Uh, but what did you know about the legendary boot room before you became manager? If I'm 100% honest, I know exactly um, two names, obviously, that from the legendary boot room, Bill. And um, Mr. and Bob, so that's the, the two about Ronnie Moran and so and, and these guys I only heard and then later on um, maybe that's not right, but that's the, that's the one that was in truth. But I love all the stories around it. And um, so the first thing, but which was completely new to me, was um, when I arrived at Liverpool and um, went first time to the stadium and it showed me the dressing room, which was not very impressive in the old stand to be honest. But then they down the, the floor and then they told me, okay, and this is your little boot room, I don't know, what is that? So I explained it to me, it was really nice, it was really nice, like a little pub in the stadium, it's only for the manager and stuff like this, and um, I, I liked it a lot. And um, so in the new stand, now we did our own boot room. It was pretty much, um, Ulla, my wife, um, was responsible for the furniture, <laughs> how it looks. <laughs> it's For me, it's the best pub in, in Liverpool, um, and after a game, um, I love going there with all my staff, with all my friends, how I would say, and, um, and their families. And um, it's great. We don't have that in Germany. You go in a pub, you go after the game, you have maybe a corner in the public VIP area, which is quite intense when you have to talk to all the people after a game, when you have not a lot of words anymore. It's better you are together with the people you know already. Uh, and that. So it's, um, it's our safe place, I would say. Your safe place, yeah. So that's your boot room? Yeah, it's yeah, my boot room. Brilliant. Yeah, it is. Uh, many compare your natural enthusiasm to the game to Bill Shankly, and he valued the importance of his trusted lieutenants. How important is it to have everyone working collectively? Yeah, that's a... I said it a couple of times, I can say it because the 100% truth, I'm an okay manager. Together with my boys, I'm a pretty good Premier League manager, let me say it like this. <laughs> and, um, we all know that, we cherish that, we, we live that. Um, but we, I pass now the, the canteen and they were sitting all together now on a table and were, where are you going? Uh, sorry, I have to do an interview. Um, we are very close. Uh, it's together with Pete, with Pep, um, with um, Vitor, John and Jack, and meanwhile, the fitness guys and fitness coaches and, and all these kind of things. We are really close. That's what I love. I never had to change. I was part of a team and I played football and I'm part of a team since I coach football players. Um, I love that. I have to make maybe a lot. I have to make always the final decision. That's fine. Um, but to get there um, is only um, as good as the, 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 the things you learn from other people. So um, we are very close and we, I'm not sure it's allowed, but Inside, we see ourselves as the boot room reloaded. <laughs> but if that's not right, if that's not allowed, I don't know about traditions, then, then forget it. Okay. Would you, I mean, you've already answered this really, but you know, would you view the people you have around you, the modern day equivalent of the boot room, you said it was the boot room reloaded? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would. 
I, I don't. Obviously, I don't know. I heard a lot. We use. We still have this um, 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 famous, some famous phrases um, in um, on the walls yeah. Yeah, and stuff like this. That's right. Um, but Pep Linders is one of, one of the most famous for for me and for us in a moment is um, intensity is our identity. So it's, it's one of our phrases, and that's from Pep. So and we have that as well on the wall and these kind of things. So. Um, we don't try to be like them, but I think the club gives us the opportunity to be similar, and that's enough. And you build in your own mythology as well, because you're breaking all the records that were set in the past. You have to nowadays. Oh, break records in the, with the records we had in this club is, is insane, to be honest. There are some of them, but I don't think, if I have one arm on it, I don't think any team will break that in the future. <laughs> you think, how, can, how do you want to do that? I have no idea how we did it. I have no idea how they did it, how they did it. So yeah, that's it. But you have to, you have to create something new. You have to. It's all. We have a wonderful basis in this club. We have, a, we have. I think everybody. So many people. So many people in the city are really so supportive to to us. The, the, the atmosphere in the stadium we can create is incredible, and that's obviously a ma massive, a massive tool in a, in a football game but of course we all you know that as well the atmosphere is not in a bad game you don't have a great atmosphere you don't have it you have to start well and then it's like and then it's not like that so we have we are both responsible for 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 keeping this kind of atmosphere and creating even maybe even better atmospheres and that's the plan and um, for that we have to um, be inventive we are we, we, we have to to create situations which give us a bigger probability to be successful, because Liverpool is a wonderful city, but we are not in London, we, and we are not, uh, and we are not in, I don't know, alone in a, in a league like Paris, P P like PSG or whatever. Yeah. We have competitors; they yeah, are not yeah. bad, yeah. and to be better than them is is already yeah. difficult, and um, that's what we try every day. And um, just because, I, but I think honestly, it's this one. That I hope it will not stay at one, but this one championship we won is obviously much more worth than winning the twelfth time in a row in another country. To be honest, um, yeah. because this we all fought together so long for it. I am all, all, obviously against only six the years. Odds. Yeah, absolutely, against absolutely. Against, against countries. Yeah, if you want, <laughs> yeah. if you want. So, uh, where would the manager be without his staff? I mean, you've touched on that before, but. I don't know where other managers would be without stuff. I, 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 I would be nowhere near where I'm now. That's how it is. Um, I had to learn it all myself. Look, I couldn't. I started as a manager, as a head coach. A day, day after I was a player, could I? And I had to do it alone for the first four months. Could I have said, I know how it works, no problem. I don't need anybody. Of course, you need people. You need people around you. You can need people you ask. That's very really difficult in this job. On the level I am now, I go to people and ask, what would you do in this situation? There are nobody who answers questions. I'm the one who answers questions. So you have to find a way to get all the knowledge you can have over the years. And now, with this, um, obviously, I worked together very long with Czerko Bubac, who was a more experienced manager than I, a coach than I was when we started, because he was older, worked already a little bit in that in in, in that in the business, and so we worked very we were very close for a long time together, and then it didn't work out anymore, and then uh, we brought in Pep Linus and Pep is, and Vito now and and Pep and Vito, they are like energizers. They are the next generation. They have a different view. They are like training machines. You, I say. We, I want to play like this, I want to have like that, I want that, and they shoot like 25 sessions out of the hips, so like, bam, which one do you want? I think, oh, that's really nice. So they, they keep you really young, they keep you on your toes, and that's, that's really good. So in my case, I would be nowhere near without the people I had over the years around me. Um, but I think the people around me know that they're only here because I'm around as well, because together we are pretty okay. So we do well. We we are interested. We we keep we staying. We stay interested. It means that we want to know what can we change, what can we improve. Our game changed completely. I'm not sure people realize it all the time, but um, 
we invented us already four or five times new since I'm here, uh, just to, to adapt, keeping the basics. We have been keeping our philosophy, our, our style, but building on it. And that's how it should be. And as long as that works out like this, and it doesn't mean you win all the games, unfortunately, but gives us a good chance to win some. And um, if you win the right ones, then you can win something.